All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strangler Power. So in today's video, I want to talk about the growing trend with strongman competitors um, to really transform their physiques and slim down um, and really have a more bodybuilder-esque physique and really begin to focus more on appearance rather than functional strength. Because as we all know, strongman competitors tend to get as big as possible with both body fat and muscle mass to be able to move as much weight as they possibly can. Typically, a strongman competitor that competes in the world's strongest man isn't too focused on having a six-pack. The general line of thinking seems to be the bigger the body, the more weight that it can move. Um, but lately, like I said, a lot of strongman competitors have been slimming down. And one of the primary examples of this is a strongman competitor named Terry Hollins, who has been actively competing in the world's strongest man competition since 2006, where he took seventh, and he qualified for the world's strongest man as recently as 2017. Um, he began his transformation of kind of slimming down back around 2016. And it's worth mentioning that both of those years, 16 and 17, he was qualified for the world's strongest man. So he did this kind of slimming down transformation as he was still an active strongman competitor, which I found to be particularly interesting uh, because generally some of these other transformations that we're going to talk about in this video were guys kind of after their careers or in the later years of their careers um, deciding to slim down after the fact. But I thought it was interesting that a guy like Terry Holland was doing this during his competitive career. And this is a guy that had placed top three at the World's Strongest Man on two separate occasions, taking third in 2007 and also taking third at the 2011 World's Strongest Man, his most recent placing being fifth at the 2014 World's Strongest Man. Now, another strongman competitor that had a really drastic transformation, if you look at these before and after pictures here, is actually a four-time winner of the World's Strongest Man competition. That is Zadrunas Savickas, who won the World's Strongest Man in 2009, 2010, 2012, and 2014. And he began this transformation really a couple years ago, and he is still an active competitor at the World's Strongest Man as of 2018. And I think Zadrunas is another very fascinating example because at his biggest, he was well over 400 pounds. And he looks to be not anywhere close to that now, even though he still stands six foot three inches tall. I believe now he's in the 300 to 350 range. So he looks like a completely different person, honestly, from the pictures that he's been posting recently. Um, he's really, really slimmed down and ripped up his physique. And as far as I know, he's still actively competing as a strongman competitor. And still doing pretty well. Like I said, he took 10th of the 2018 World's Strongest Man. He actually won the 2016 Arnold Strongman Classic. So Zadrunas is really one of the better strongman competitors out there. And he's really a legendary strongman competitor, a four-time World's Strongest Man winner. Um, and I think it's kind of cool to see him slimming down as well. Um, and then another example, of course, you have Eddie Hall who is actually the most recent winner of the World's Strongest Man as far as this video is concerned, winning the 2017 World's Strongest Man and then kind of unofficially retiring um, from strongman competition. But Eddie Hall was a guy who, you know, during his competitive prime, really had no semblance of, you know, being lean or ripped. And now he's a guy that's posting pictures. He's got abs now. Um, he appears to be much more focused on how he looks and apparently being healthy and, you know, stripping down a lot of that extra weight that he carried around as a strongman competitor. And overall, I think this is a good phenomena with strongman competitors because all this extra weight that they're carrying around is terrible for the body. I mean, carrying around that much extra weight for an extended period of time is going to have some health ramifications. So a lot of these guys are probably slimming down out of necessity, um, but it also makes me wonder how many of these guys are actually slimming down um, you know, for social media and to have this impact um, when they're posting these pictures on Instagram or YouTube or whatever the case may be um, to garner a better following and actually having a really good physique as well as being really, really strong compared to just being really strong and not having that great of a physique. And then I think you have a guy like Hafthor Bjornsson who falls kind of in the middle of this spectrum who won the 2018 World's Strongest Man. Um, but when he won that competition, you couldn't really say he was fat or obese. He really still had a pretty good physique when he won it. Um, so I'm kind of noticing a trend in strongman competitors actually having decent physiques while winning the strongman competition rather than just being as big as possible. And I think this is actually a pretty good phenomenon. I actually like the direction this is headed. Um, and it makes me kind of curious to see, you know, in future years, what strongman competitors are going to look like if we're going to see more guys looking like, you know, John Paul Sigmerson look back in the day. I mean, he was ripped when he was winning these World's Strongest Man competitions. I wonder if we're going to see more, uh, more guys like him in the future. 
So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this phenomena of strongman competitors slimming down and getting ripped. Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comment section below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed already. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.